Happy Sunday, everybody. We are doing a one take video right now for um, today's video. And there's a lot going on. First of all, I made banana bread. Hey -o! Do you guys like it? Yeah. Yeah? Whoa. Whoa. Are you eight years already? Wow, you must really like it. It was a good recipe. Um, it was actually not even an online recipe. It was from an actual cookbook. So I was going to share the link, but. I don't have the link. I'll try and put it up somewhere somehow. Um, <clears throat> in other news, Zach has something to show you. I'm not showing them it. Well, you can not just like talk about my it. bandages. I have shingles. Zach has shingles, like a little sad little boy, right here. It's so dark. And so I'm very upset about it. Yeah, it's a little upsetting to Zachary right now. I don't really want this to be on the vlog, but Tara insisted. <laughs> yeah, he didn't want to be on the vlog, but it's so interesting because and my hair's not done, shingles. so I don't like that. It looks but. really good. Um, what do you so, want me to talk 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 about it? Talk about how it came about. Um, so apparently, if you had chickenpox since you were a kid, you have the virus inside of you, and it can manifest itself if you get sick or you you age and your immune system's down, or if you get stressed, and that's probably what happened. I've been stressed for the last little while with school and interviews and stuff like that. And so, <clears throat> they, so we thought it was, they manifested themselves. We thought it was razor burn because it was like right on the edge of his like yeah, beard. A place where I would typically get razor burn. It totally looked like razor burn. And then like it, it came out underneath his ear and began to look a little bit more uh, lizard-like. <laughs> Scaly. <laughs> yeah. And uh, pus-filled. Yeah. <laughs> so, um... So, yeah, it was, uh, yeah. it was, well, we were getting worried about it. So we started putting some essential oils on it to see if it would just like help it be less inflamed and stuff. But then we just knew he needed to go to the doctor. So we went to the doctor yesterday and they're like, shingles. The doctor came in and in one second was like, it shingles. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like, dang it. So, I was hoping she would give me like a cream I put on it and it would go away in a day or something. So. But yeah, this will it's, take a couple. It looks. Weeks, you're lucky probably. that it's bandaged up because it is hideous. Yeah, it's. It's not pretty. It is not a pretty picture. Not a pretty hey, picture. I like a pretty. <clears throat> so anyway. Name that. Name that movie. Aladdin. I'm not you then. Oh. <laughs> In the comments below. <laughs> um. What do you have to say? Uh, crazy head. <laughs> yeah, you guys are both crazy heads. Um, in other news, yeah, they. In other been, news, like, our kids are I've psycho, and they're so silly all the time. I don't know how to handle it. Do you guys have any experience with silly little kids? Tell them what you said. Let me day. know. We we like them being silly, but we want. Yeah, them we're to not know opposed to them being children and having silly moments. We just want them to know how to turn it on and off, and like <sighs> know the difference. Yeah. When when it's okay no to be super funny and silly, and when it's like. Mom and dad are now mad, and now we need to be serious. Yeah, mostly because they're so silly when they're sitting up here eating meals, so much so that everything is spilled all the time. They're spilling cereal bowls, they're spilling water all Where? over the place. Oh. And it's driving me nuts. So if you guys, if you, any of you experienced mothers or babysitters or nannies out there, <laughs> know how to handle the silliness level of your kids, let me know what you do because, or if I'm just needing, I don't know. Because I want to be a fun mom and let them have fun and be happy, but I also want to make sure I'm having kids who know when to stop. <clears throat> In other news, we are getting dinner ready. Sunday dinner, I've got my Rhodes Rolls right here. There's These come on. in, ugh. These come in a frozen, they're just frozen, they're freezer rolls, and they're so good. Um, so if you like, rolls but you don't know how to make rolls get some Rhodes rolls from the store this is not a paid endorsement and then also <laughs> to continue on my like super easy Mommy. dinner dinner streak um Mommy. i got some of this hold on piper i'm on i'm doing this real quick i got some of this laurie's uh, marinade and i wanted to try it out it's like sesame ginger with mandarin orange juice so we're trying that out i just stuck it in the crock pot and it's cooking if you can see that um, so that's cooking for a couple hours. The rolls need to raise for like oh, four to five hours. And then I'm gonna do some frozen vegetables too, so. I'm all for like frozen foods that you just whip up with no effort at all. That's my kind of dinner. 
And then Zach's siblings are coming over for dinner. And it should be good. I'm not contagious <laughs> unless you like touch it. And yeah, the, his shingles aren't contagious unless you like get all up in there. Um, but yeah, so. So trying to be very careful, just like washing hands and keeping it clean. Yeah. Yeah. Sleeping on pillows that belong to yourself. So anyway, that is what's going on this Sunday. We had wonderful, well, Zach didn't go to church. Yeah. Me and the kids went to church. And did you guys have a good time at church today? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, do songs. You did some songs? Yeah. What songs? I did some crazy songs. What songs, Piper? Uh, What are you saying? Uh, yeah, baby. Uh, Porter, I can't understand what you're saying. I want to. That's I'm a child of God. If you know that song, that's what she was singing. Um, but yeah, church was really good. I was like so not in the mood to go at all. I was like almost at the point of being like, you know, Zach's staying home because he's not feeling good. I'm pregnant and just having like a rough weekend. Why don't we just not go? But then I knew that if I went, that I would be rejuvenated and see people and feel their spirits and just be better. And I do, I feel better. I was like, seriously, I didn't, I don't think I smiled like once this whole morning because I was just so grumpy. But then I went and it was good and I feel happier now. And the kids got to go to primary nursery and learn stuff about Jesus, which is always good. Um, so I hope you guys had a, a wonderful Sunday and that you are ready and relaxed on the weekend so that you could have a, a great week. Um, coming up this week, I don't really know what we're doing the rest of the week, but I know I have a fun vlog about a little trip me and my friends did this weekend together. So that it will be coming up probably tomorrow. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys had a great Sunday again and that you are happy because I'm happy. And that is sometimes not very frequent around here at this point in my pregnancy. But yeah, that's all. I'm just going to end it here. Bye.